Welcome to this week's edition of Cub Talks. I've got an awesome show for you. Cubs have been playing great. Swept the Cardinals last weekend at Wrigley. Chris Bryant with a walk-off bomb last night against the Marlins. Love the way this team is playing. And this week's segment is an interview I did with the Cubs radio voice uh, of 23 years, back in the day, starting in 1965 all the way through into the 80s, Vince Lloyd. I did this interview in 2002. It's a very rare interview. He talks about a historic interview that he did when he was actually calling the White Sox season opener in 1961 out in Washington, D.C. And this was a leadoff man show where he interviewed the president live at a baseball game, which had never been done before. Historic. I remastered the whole thing. Enjoy. I read that you had an interview, was it a ball game, live, first interview with the president? Uh, with Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. Kennedy, yeah. President Kennedy, Vince Lloyd, and WGN Television in Chicago, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President. We had a meeting in about March that year, and they decided we're going to do the opening game for the White Sox that year in Washington, D.C. So we walk out of the meeting, and Jack and I are walking down the hall, and I just casually remark, well, hell, if I'm going to do a lead-off man there, I might as well do the president. And we both stopped and looked at one another and said, why not? And I knew Daly real well, and we knew he'd won Chicago, won Illinois, if he wouldn't be president. So we asked Daly to put in a word. He said, hell yes, yeah, sure. He called, what the president? I'm gone with my pal Vince Lloyd before the game from the field. And the labor leader who went with us on the plane, he wanted to be damn sure it happened, went with us. And the big problem, I never got a chance to talk to anybody at the White House ahead of time. When I get to the ballpark, there's a Secret Service guy standing in front of the box where they're supposed to sit. And I walk over there about 15 minutes before. He looks at me, the picture shows him in a trench coat, and he's got the biggest scowl on his face you ever saw. He said, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to interview the president. He said, the hell you are. I said, no, it's all set up. Back to Chicago. He said, no, you're not. I said, well, I am. I got news for you. I'm going to do it. He said, you get your ass out of here. I said, I've got a credential to be on the field, and you're not going to chase me off. We go back and forth. He said, get that microphone out of here. Nobody's cleared that. I said, well, here it is. Clear the goddamn thing. What saved my ass, a few minutes later, the presidential party comes, and the first guy in it is Everett Dirksen, who was senator from Illinois, and I had known him from my days in Peoria. And he looked at me, and he holds up a hand. Vince, how are you? I said, fine, senator. And I pushed the door to the box and went in. And this guy, the Secret Service guy, is standing there. You cannot, I wish I had the picture here. He's ready to kill me. Do 15 minutes with him, without interruption. And soon after we into it, I realized if he didn't know the answer, he had a little guy with him, his assistant, who was a baseball nut. And he'd throw the question to him. Went on for 15 minutes. I didn't know the president had never been interviewed uh, at a game before, but it turned out that was the first time it had ever happened. I, I know that uh, we're very happy to have the opportunity to uh, bring you back to Chicago and your many uh, stalwart people that are back there and happy to see you here at the ballgame I saw the uh, World Series out there uh, two years ago, wasn't it? Yes, that's right, when we had the unfortunate experience of losing to uh, I know, Los Brooklyn. Angeles. Yes, yeah, uh, you formerly rough the Dodgers. Mr. President, I know that uh, uh, Mr. Johnson here is supposed to take part in some of the ceremonies on the field. He's going to pitch a couple of innings. 
<laughs> Got that uh, arm. Uh, you, you are a right-hander, are you, Mr. Vice President? Yes, I am. I had an experience uh, throwing out the ball in Nashville Saturday. How did you do? Did you throw a strike? Well, I, I had to throw two or three times to satisfy him. Mr. President, have you had an opportunity to do any warming up for this, sir? Well, we just uh, we've just been getting ready here today. I just uh, he's throwing nothing but strikes. Throwing nothing but strikes. It's very good. <laughs> but he was great for an interview. And geez, when he got killed, uh, what was it? A year later, two years later, down in Dallas. Oof, I felt horrible. Yeah. He was a hell of a guy. I remember one thing from the interview. I asked him, Mr. President, there's many people here with you, but where's Mrs. Kennedy? And he smiled and said, oh, it's Monday. She's home doing the wash. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a hell of an answer? Yeah. You, could, you could really see from that interview, I could, why he was so popular. Great personality. Well, we're delighted to be here. Just for a moment, uh, Mr. President, I'd like to have you talk a little bit about the uh, physical education plan that you, uh, your administration is backing. We feel very strongly about it, of course, back in Chicago. Well, we have Bud Wilkinson, who's the uh, coach at the University of Oklahoma, who is uh, working now. I must say that uh, I uh, feel it important that we uh, get a, uh, not be a nation just of spectators, even though that's what we are today, but also a nation of participants, particularly to make it possible for young men and women to uh, participate actively in uh, physical effort sports. We're just as strong as we are uh, physically and mentally, so that I'm a strong believer in that kind of a program for our people. Well, you, you live up to that personally, too, in your own, uh, in your own life. Well, I've been interested in sport, and I think that it, uh, we want to make sure that everyone has a chance to uh, develop that interest. In our field of television, we feel they should be uh, uh, doers rather than just viewers. That's right. I know you're looking forward to this season here with the new Washington Senator Ball Club. Have you had an opportunity to study that lineup at all? Well, we've just been uh, looking at it and discussing it. They look in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's it's amazing that you could go in there and that they the home team hadn't done that at that That's point. That's right. That I couldn't believe it either. Scoop them that way. Yeah, well, the presidents had gone out throwing the first ball again for years. Yeah. Uh, Jim Rivera was funny. He was a White Sox outfielder, a rough young guy. He caught the ball that Kennedy tossed out. I'm still standing there, and Rivera runs over with it. Hey, Prez, sign this for me, will you? And he did. <laughs> but I never knew till we got back to Chicago that it had never been done before. Sure, the WGN people were pretty happy. Oh about that. God! Oh, what a deal they made out of it! A big story on the wires about it. The guy who ran the station was just absolutely elated. The only bad thing about it, Tim, a, a, a baseball announcer in Washington who did their games got fired. Uh -huh. Because the owner said, you let a goddamn farmer come in here from Chicago and interview the president and you never thought of it all these years? My answer would have been, why the hell didn't you think of it? You know, you, you run the station. But he got fired because of it. He was so quick and so friendly. Mr. President, I want to thank you again, sir, for speaking with us. Oh, fine, good. It's been a great pleasure. Thank, thank you. Very you. Much.